good day for a walk today. It really is good. Okay, so that's where we went last time. That leads down to the river, down towards Glen May. And this is what we're gonna scramble through. Right, let's get on with it. The adventure starts here. I really, really hope this is gonna be easier than I'm anticipating. So hopefully I don't get spiked to hell and back. Or stung by anything. A funny story actually. Um, I've actually had to start sharing my location with people when I come out on these walks in case I end up in a ditch somewhere at least on GPS you can find me on the iPhone not that I hope I'll ever need it I mean remember what happened to that guy down in um... oh god where was it now was it on like Death Valley or something out in the desert 127 hours and he got his hand stuck and he, when he fell um, down that crevice and he, he got that boulder stuck against his arm and then the dude had to cut his arm away in order to survive and that is just horrific so we want to avoid things like that I mean I think out here the only thing I'm going to get stuck in is a mine shaft somewhere oh, oh, oh they're starting to prickle now hopefully I mean, GPS being broadcasted as I speak will be good to go but yeah, that's a good film, 127 hours. That was, that was some movie that I actually don't think I'm gonna get through all this. We started off well. <laughs> Mind you, if I look ahead, it looks the same as it does behind, so got an opening here in the trees. So I'm gonna have a little skeet, see if this way's gonna be a bit easier. That's gonna be pretty hard to get through. I'm just gonna wade in just a little bit and see what we get to. The trouble is, I don't want to be falling in any holes. Oh, it's gone dark and spooky. Yeah, I mean, they're all like, they're all in like a row, so if I go diagonal down there, let's try it. Bugger it, let's try it. Might be a bit easier on me. So if we just... In fact, it looks... I would suggest that people have been through here, because these are all broken off. Like here you can see clearly the branches have been broken off. Now whether that's by sheep or Bigfoot, I don't know, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. We'll try this way. Okay, I find this pretty cool. So all around me is sort of browny, gray, and then you've got this patch of green. The lights come through the trees. There's one patch of green. That's pretty awesome. So far, so good. This is definitely off the beaten track. Um, not what I'm used to. Oh, look, another patch of green down there. Ooh. Oh, it looks like this was part of the old track down here. See all this overgrowth? This is obviously um, somewhere for like, wagons and trucks to drive when they were felling trees. Looks like that's literally just a the road straight down, but we're not going down there. We need to go straight onward. Nothing blocking the way. Let's go. Let's see what we can see. I don't want to deviate off the path too much. Because we all know what happens when I deviate off the path, don't we? Chris gets stuck. Just got a feeling that things will turn as they always do. We're opening up a bit here, so. Right. Oh well, this has changed quick. That set of woodland from that. All right, so I'm gonna think back up to the track. We'll go back up to the track and then we'll uh, pick up from there. Because at least I know the track. If I stick to it, it takes me to where I need to go. Okay, so a bit of bad news all around, really. I don't know how people get out to these these sites. I'm looking ahead. And ah, it just looks impossible. Now it breaks off to the right, 
where it looks like clearly people have walked but that doesn't lead to where I want to go I need to go that way I mean there's not even there's barely any wriggle room at all oh man um, check my map and make a decision what I'm going to do might have to do what I did in there and cut through the trees so I'll see if I can get in there first and then make a decision I decided to go the path of least resistance uh, it just looked easier it does look on here it does look like people have walked down here before so I'm semi hopeful but I think I'm going to have to cut over into the trees getting a little bit concerned um, I think on the way back I'm just going to have to cut through fields unfortunately I'm going to have to because this in the dark is going to get tough so I've got to get a move on should I have come out of here earlier? Maybe. Oh, there's a cutting in the trees there. Right, we might be onto the right track here. I've just got to remember the way I've come so I can get back. Oh, look at these. What's got anybody know how to get rid of this fogging on your glasses? Let me know. Right. Okay, so that wasn't too tough. At the moment, I'm confident I can get back if it's a bit, a bit dark. How am I going to get through this? where the trail goes cold I'm too, I'm too far down I need to be further up right. oh it's getting tough this is quite a hill there's always barbed wire hanging around so this is obviously some kind of perimeter so I'm just hoping up there is more barbed wire across where I need to be this is like a vertical climb it's ridiculous I'll get to the top here I'm not even halfway near these uh, fountains yet I think I'm gonna make a judgment call up here because on the way back I'm gonna try and shortcut through some fields because I ain't doing this again I ain't doing it in the dark. No way am I doing it in the dark. I see light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, oh I see a warning. Oh, it looks like it gets easier. I think we're onto something. Let's have a look. Okay. Right. Oh, there's a fault in there. Looks like that way's clear. We are on to something. Shit. Alright. Forest operations. And how old is that sign? That is ridiculous. But anyway, I mean, look at it. This, is, this was a gate. And that's a fence that goes right the way down. But it only goes halfway because it's just rotted to pieces. Finally, a clearing. Right, we're about halfway. I really do hope there's an easy way back. Okay, this is starting. Obviously, we've got the fault in there. This is starting to show signs of uh, what we're interested in. But we'll continue this way. Come on, man, fingers crossed. Whoa, look at them trees, they're different. We've gone through about three different types of woodland here. This is like a they look almost like swampy with all the moss. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. All the vegetation's just evolving as we're going. Look at that, it's completely different to what I've just walked through down there. God knows what I'm gonna find down here. We've come this far, let's keep going. We really cannot get over how much this has just changed and evolved. So still following the main track. Christmas tree. It's almost that time, peeps. It's almost that time. Oh, it looks like it's getting easier again. Right. Um, we've changed ever so slightly once more. No waving. It's been the easiest bit so far. It's a bendy tree. How the hell is that still? It's not even broke off, that's weird. Anyway, Ooh, don't fall Chris. So I've not even found, it is what I'm looking for yet. It's been going an hour, 
and we've only got an hour sunlight left so at some point on the walk back I'm gonna have to get the lamps out and I'm gonna be doing it in the dark I know you don't believe me but I do it so you don't have to dead end however whoop, almost tripped that's the only thing these nettles these things are quite strong and once you get your toe under one you've had it once again the terrain is uh, the vegetation is transformed into something different it's almost like a marshland and a couple of trees down the trailheads this way half these places i don't have a clue where they are i just tend to look on satellite images uh, things that look abandoned or ruins i suppose these sites where these houses are falling apart the trouble is i don't know an awful lot of people that have been out to these sorts of places so i've only really got the internet to rely on i really need to check the maps because i have no idea if i am heading in the right direction right through them trees it's down there so i'm going to go down this track so we're literally here so that's good that's good at least i can make it back in daylight and i know i kind of remember my route mum's just text hi mum she says she can see me out by glen may and yeah, you wouldn't be too too far wrong. I am actually Glen May's not too far away. And I can actually hear the Glen May River in the distance. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Get the camera ready soon. Yes, this is more like it. This is more like it. So which way do we go now? Which way do we go now? It's down here. So I reckon, oh, of course there's going to be a hill, a drop. Oh, this is really nice. Whoa, it really is getting breezy. All right, I apologize right now, guys, if the sound goes a bit rubbish. I am going to get some uh, some mufflers for the, the GoPro at some point. Wow, that's a nice view. It's not even anything amazing, but look at that. I see the pink sky coming on in the sunset is on its way right we need to get find these fountains and then get out of here i do wonder if i go up around here back oh wow look at that guys this has a few few snaps for instagram there's gonna be a few more you see the sun behind me you see the sun over there it's going down i'm just curious what is going to be that way if i can actually walk the whole perimeter of this uh, plantation to get out that would be my preference do I go do I go the tough way back but I know my way back or do I go an unknown route that could be easier I really don't know right let's get in here oh what's this oh is this like the slate that they used to mine away at what the hell wow it's like a big cave Whoa. not chosen the easiest route again oh. it's obviously all the rock that they used to mine away at let's not take shortcuts we've gotten this far all right Right, I've decided against that route. We will. We'll go around the outside of the trees. Big mound of slate. So we are here, guys. We've made it. So I'm going to have a little wander around here. And see what's going on. I'm not looking forward to the walk back because this hill is a bit horrible. Oh, God. Which way do you go? Well, I know I need to be on this side. It's lethal. All this barbed wire is all laid under this grass and you just you just can't see where you're going. Glen May, Karen's Folly over there, if you can make it out on video. Oh come on man, you can't be kidding me. God, look at that. Just look at that man. Whoa. back's not going to be easy. We've got a 
found it. Oh, there we are. Chris sets out to do a job, he gets the job done. Right. To the top. Let's see if I get a pano shot up here. Wow. Holy moly. That's where we got before. Oh look, there we are. Somebody out and across her down there. So I keep hearing. What an adventure. This has been flipping great. This is what I love. Because these places are tough to find. It's the route more than anything, especially when you've got this to go through. But that's one plot anyway. You see down there, that's one plot of slate. And you saw the, the little uh, sort of cave section back there. It was pretty cool. That's me, whoa. Whoa. Almost went. I'm not seeing the fountain yet. Is it down here? Whoa. Wow. How do I get down there? Fulton. There's the mine working straight ahead over there. Ooh, that's pretty hefty. Um, looks like something going on over there, so we'll go check that out. Um, these slates are unbelievably slippy, so I've got to be so careful. Oh, these bushes don't help. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, don't go falling down there. Look at it, just... All this slate's just been left. This is crackers. It's weird looking at it from this angle. Fair way down, but the view's amazing looking at all the trees and... There's a peel over there. And, oh. and the moon, I don't know if you can get it on camera. The moon's out and all, so we've got everything. We've got it all working today, but the sunset's going to be beautiful tonight. And unfortunately, I'm stuck on the top of a, a slate mine, so... Nah, win some, you lose some. Alright, let's keep looking. I wouldn't mind just going down for a walk, looking down there actually, but I'm... Oh. So where I've just stopped is actually, looks like somebody has come down here. Oh. This is dicey. Well, you know. You know guys, you want to come out and see this, but never knew how, I've done it for you. Whoa! This is dicey. At least if I fall, I just fall into bushes. Right. Ooh, we're here. There we go. Right, quick skeet, couple more photos, and then we get out of here. I mean, obviously, there's your building material. Um, but why would you live in such a weird spot? I mean, it's taken me ages to get out of here. And there it is, guys. Well, as always, nothing to see. But uh, it does have history. There's a moon up there. I'm going to try and get a shot with the moon in. That might be pretty sweet. Whoa. So, 
I'll see if I can do that now actually. Hold on guys. Just get try and get this shot. Alright, so a couple of snaps there, managed to get the moon in. Um yeah. I was waiting ages, you'll probably see it behind me there in the clouds. Don't know if you can see it. But um I've waited here for about 15 minutes just to get that shot with the fault with the moon behind. Um I don't know if it was worth it. <laughs> The thing is, it's getting so dark now. Yeah, I'm coming back up now. There's not much to see down there. That's just a big drop. Nothing more. So there you go. There's the moon up there, ladies and gentlemen. The night is drawing in and I'm still out here in the middle of the woods on my own. Oh, and there's more. Have a look, but I found some more. Look at this. Bit of a drop. Sun's more slight. Just over there is where that big hole is that we found last time. But yeah, look at this. Built into the, it looks like it's built into the bank of the, uh, the tree line there. So yeah, there's another, another bunch there. Why wow, these things are everywhere. Whoa, I've got to be careful. Oh, I don't know how close I can get to that. Here, yeah, I'm on a telescopic arm. Let's, uh... Right. Ooh. And now my selfie stick's nice and long, so oh, he just... Right, let's have a let's hang this over the edge, see what we get. I'm curious as to where this goes. I mean, look at this. This is obviously all the slate that they've dug, and all back there is obviously where they deposited it all. But this is it all here. This is where they've taken it all from. Right, I think this is the. Oh no, it's not the end of the line. Oh my god, how long is this going for? Another big drop. Looks like a buzzard up there, look. Circling me. But this keeps going. I don't know if it heads back to where I need to be. I'm gonna call it quits there. I'm gonna call it quits there, guys. So I've come along the ridge there. And there is definitely, uh, like I say, the signs of the old workings here. Absolutely amazing. Oh, it's not too stylish, is it? Oh, it's hard to get on with my cap. So I may like look a bit of a plonker, but needs must. Okay, we're strapped in, guys. I'm just passing the Fulton now that we were just at, and I'm making my way back. Now, whilst the light is getting a bit dim out here, in there, it's gonna be a different story, so I'm not looking forward to this trek back. The sun's looking amazing. It's getting worryingly dark out here. Piss and fun. Okay, God, the wind's blasting me again. Just hope the mic sounds all right. Okay, I've checked the maps. And I think, oh, excuse me being out of breath, I think uh, going through the woods would be unwise this late at night, especially with how dodgy it was. I mean, you sure sort of struggle getting out of here, so I'm going to cut through some fields and just hope for the best because at least it's a bit safer. So, Hang in there guys, we're gonna make it back. Oh man, I wanna get back so bad now. It's very eerie out here. All oh, right, found this barbed wire, it works. Just have to try my best, I think. Well, there's the forest and there's the field. It's open, good sign, bad sign, I don't know. But I'm just gonna keep heading diagonally across here and hope the best. Getting a little bit worried now, I have to say. Just a little bit. There and there's a hill up there, it looks like it's another track. So I'm hoping this leads back to at least a road or something. Because I'm running out of daylight quick. 
and once it gets dark, I am screwed. This is looking hopeful though. Oh. Right, I'm gonna have to put the torch on in a minute. Right, now that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Oh. I mean, I know I'll get out. It's the other man. I know I'll get out. It's not the other man. I know. I know exactly where I am, but it's just with visibility getting so so poor. Uh, it's picking the right direction. It could be like I go one direction, and then I get stuck in a barbed wire fence. I go another direction, and it's too boggy, or the uh, the bushes are too thick. There's a track behind me. I am crossing my fingers, guys, that this leads back to where I came from. This is turning into, from a, an explore to a let's get lost. This always happens. Why do I do this? Why do I do it? Oh man, this is becoming a nightmare. Ah, this is not fun, lost in the field at night. As you can see, I'm down these tracks now, which go down to the, that goes down this hill to the joins onto the plantation. But I don't remember so many hills up and down earlier when I was climbing. But uh, yeah, I'll check the maps. Let's see where we're going. Looks like I'm in luck. There's a track there, look. Okay, so that leads back to the plantation. Straight ahead, plantation. Don't remember there being such a big turn in it though. God, anyway, this is much easier to walk. So I'm hoping this track Oh, there's a gate ahead. If this track is still as it looks on the satellite imagery, it spits me out right where I parked. And I can't ask for any better than that. Apologies for the bad audio, as always. We're now out on the moors. So the wind is hitting us pretty fiercely, so I'm not going to try and uh, talk over it too much. And we're going to get our asses home. This is the way. Oh. I do these things, guys. You don't have to. At last, we're here. Oh, torch on. And then there's the road. Right, so let's get back to the car. It's not too far away now. Let's do it. I'm so happy to see the road again. And there's the old Falcon all on its own, waiting for me. Oh, this is where I find it. I'll drop my keys. Right guys, oh look at state of me. Oh my beard's all puffed up and I'm all it's all, all steamed up here. Right folks, that was an absolute nightmare. It's been fun, but so we're done, so that was the slate mines. I've been out here almost four hours and um, trekking around through all the trees and over the fields and walking in the dark and I will be honest I was a bit worried at one point. Because, I mean, some of these old tracks don't exist anymore that are on Google Maps from 10 years ago. I mean, just look at the one through the, through the plantation. It's all overgrown and you can't really get through it anymore. But it doesn't matter. We made it. We did it. So hopefully got some good enough shots, got some decent photos. But I think now it's time to go home for a, a curry and a beer because I'm torn. I'm goosed. I'm absolutely goosed. I want to get my feet up and relax before I've got work tomorrow. So guys thank you for watching if you haven't seen part one already go back have a look at that i did find a couple of interesting things nowhere near nowhere near as much fun as this though you know the procedure don't forget to like share and subscribe and guys i will see you in the next video peace